Yankees Stadium, 250 main event as we get set. Jeremy McGrath, Jeff Emig, Jeff Stanton. There you see number six on the right side is Jeff Emig, along with Lampson as we're getting ready for the green flag. And the gate drops. It's Emig Stanton, a good break from the gate. There in the middle, Ward on the outside. McGrath behind Emig. He's praying he doesn't go down. And over the hay bales is Michael Jones. He's got to get out of the way. They're coming back. Wow. Jones hustling back out of harm's way. Looks like his arm was hurt, but he jumps right back on, fires it up, rejoins the fray. McGrath third, number five, Stanton fourth, as Emig and Craig right out in front. Emig got the whole shot, but Craig tries for him on the corner. Jeremy looked like he was going to get the whole shot. He ran a little wide in the first turn. That let the Yamahas, again, the Yamahas, get out in front. So now it's the two Hondas trying to catch up. And hallelujah, a good start for Mike Kudrowski, who's behind Stanton, number three. Kudrowski running fifth as Michael Craig takes over the lead from Jeff Emig and immediately opens it up, and here comes Jeremy right after him. A grab where he wants to be, out of trouble right now. It's Emig, a little bit of slip there as it's getting slippery. Craig, Emig, McGrath, Stanton, Kondrowski, the order as they head toward more difficult territory. Craig going wide, Emig slipping underneath. Whoa, not much room, but Craig comes through. Michael Craig with a great start here. Remember, this is the guy who was going to go have shoulder surgery after Charlotte and be out for the rest of the year. Passed on the surgery and has done a great job since. Certainly likes this harder packed soil now as McGrath goes for Emig and slips inside him. The Wolves, Emig though, not giving up. Clean, no contact. You always worry when these two guys get together. They don't like each other. They crash together. But uh, this time it's all on the up and up as McGrath goes for second. Another horrendous start is in ninth. Out in front, Michael Craig getting the challenge for number one, Jeremy McGrath. Cuts inside and McGrath now in the lead. I think Jeremy figured that out the lap before when he went through there. He's, he had a notion in the lap before, figured he could do it any time, and so he saved it, and there you see Craig making a bobble. And Emig moves into second place, Craig third, and here comes Mike Kudrowski. Kudrowski is going over the loops better than any one day. And Craig has indeed fallen apart here for the moment when Jeremy went past, just like before. Yellow flag's waving, red cross flag is out, so no jumping as Cliff Palmer took a hard fall. Palmer's down in the bottom of those whoop de doos hit his head pretty good. McGrath leads, Kudrowski the fastest bike on the track. One at a time, and drive right through him. Don't, uh, don't mess around with anybody. When you get to him, pass him, get on with your business. And there's an the example. Look at the acceleration, too, with Morocco there once he got the edge on Michael Craig. From 12th now to 4th in 8 laps, with still 12 laps to go in this race. Very smooth on this difficult and slippery track. Cuts inside. MK looking for second. Can't get it this time. Gee, I thought he had that pulled off, but he didn't quite, so he tries it again in a different section of the racetrack. And this looks like it's going to work. Kondrowski moving into second place. And it held him up for quite a while, and Jeremy McGrath has got an edge on him. We'll see if he can pick up his time. Team rider that he encountered. Let's see how he'll do with Emig here. Again, Morocco just doesn't wait for people. He goes by. Emig looking back. Cuts to the inside. Good move by Jeff Emig. Same move that Kudrowski uh, attempted, and Emig countered the same way. Then they came to this section, and that was where Kudrowski made the pass. But Rocco is going to not get the job done. Morocco, though, not doing anything stupid either and trying to force the action there there where you kind of skip along and you think maybe you got it under control but it's never a sure thing. Oh, Rocco takes the inside move for third place now. Having made the last mistake and the result is Morocco gets the spot. McGrath the leader but look out we'll be back in a moment. Just a lot of slack We've got the scene set for a tremendous finish of this race. I'm very impressed that Kudrowski has caught Jeremy McGrath, the fastest man in Supercross, and maybe the fastest man in Supercross history. Jeremy's been a little tentative, perhaps, a little tight. He just doesn't seem to have quite the perfect rhythm. Kudrowski's got a shot at him, although it is a long shot. It must be nice to be out in front and it's not your best ride. That is a measure of Jeremy's greatness. See how the foot peg, uh, foot kind of dragged off the foot peg there? His rhythm is off. Kudrowski yeah. got him. Yes. Here comes number three. Mike Kudrowski into the lead now. It'll be interesting to see what Jeremy tries to do in coming back. This is not an easy track to come back on. 
We talked about Russ's strategy earlier when the championship was on the line. Consider Jeremy's situation here. Do you try to go back and attack him and win this race, or do you just sit on the point lead? Man, eh, tough call. Gadrowski always good in the woods. Jeremy picks up the action nose right on his rear tire. I'll tell you, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting because I think Jeremy will go after him. That would be his competitive nature. Here's the finish line jump area. White flag and J Jeremy bumps into Mike Kowalski, sends him wide, regains the lead here on the final lap. Let's see what Kowalski can do as they come up on the lappers. For all the runaways that we've seen this year with Jeremy McGrath, we come down to Dallas in a terrific two-man battle in traffic on the last lap workout. Jeremy McGrath in front of Mike Kowalski. But we've got the whoops to go yet as they both pass Henry, number eight. Let's hope the lappers stay out of the way. See him getting the blue flag. It's one and three. Those are the two guys you want to worry about. Look at LaRocco. He's caught him. Kowalski, though, he gets the line he wants. Kowalski. He moves in with a slight lead off the wall. So no, Jeremy goes flying in toward the mechanics area. Kowalski had to go into the hay bales. LaRocco has passed the two of them. It will be a Mike LaRocco victory. Incredible finish. Unbelievable. McGrath went after him. There's LaRocco taking the checkered flag. Jeremy took a huge chance on the last lap of the season. Another look at this unbelievable move. Kodrowski had the fast line. Jeremy tried to use him as a berm. High sided, hooked his knee. That was ugly. You take a chance with the series championship when you do something like that. He's back on the bike and apparently okay. The two guys who laid it all on the line in the last turn of the last lap, Kodrowski came up second. McGrath a third. Emig fourth, and Larry Ward, the top privateer, with Stanton taking a sixth and the chicken in seventh. Keyhole nailing down a tenth. Well, here's the reaction we were waiting for. It's all smiles <laughs> as they shake hands. Jerry Bernardo talking with our winner. That was probably the most exciting finish. You were sitting in the catbird seat, and you ended up on top. How'd it look from your point of view? It looked good, actually. Uh, what happened exactly, what was I was hoping to happen? I just came back. Uh, I came from a long ways back, and I stood around with Demick too long, and you know, those guys have a little bit of edge on me that I wasn't quite making up, so yeah, I just hung back, and hopefully something happened, and it did. Yeah, you're making a habit of winning. It's kind of goofy how you ended up there, but you're strong, and you deserve a win. How do you feel about that? Well, right now, I'll take it any way I can get it, so uh, I'm not going to say sorry or anything. That's cool. Good job, Mike. Thanks. Moving right down the line, I didn't mean to, uh, you know, curse you or anything. You said you were going to be there, and man, I don't know what the heck was going on, but you tell me. Yeah, you know, I, I got up in the second behind Jeremy, and, and you know, I was, he was riding pretty smooth and pretty fast, and I was just trying to keep consistent, you know. At the end of the race, I knew I'd be stronger, and, and uh, he made a mistake, didn't jump the triple, and I got by, but maybe I was riding a little too cautious. Or he was riding more aggressive, and he got me back, and then through the whoops, I said, I'm either going for it or falling down, you know? And I went through it, and I had him, and he just went inside of me and caught my front wheel and just looped his bike out, so, you know, I almost had the win. That was a spectacular crash. It happened right in front of all the mechanics, and then it was like, everybody was like, <gasps> holding their breath, because you were up on top yeah. of the jump, and Jeremy was down. I think I could have pulled off the win if I wouldn't have hit the hay bells, but I hit him and got tied up in those. Well, you said you were going to be there. Good job, I guess. Thank you. Psycho motorcycle racing. Team Kawasaki. Woo. Okay, Jeremy, a little air of disappointment on your face. You were out there roosting, and then super duper thrills and chills wipe out. What happened out there? Yeah, Mike got a little close to me, and, and you know, I got to say, it was pretty hot out there, so I was probably winded a little bit, but, uh, you know, he was good, good pressure on me. I apologize for running into him, but, you know, that's what you got to do to win, and, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll do it back to me someday. We've had a climactic finish right there. You guys totally wiped out in front of everybody in the mechanics. And then it was like, who can scramble to their feet the fastest? Well, I think he passed me in the whoops. And then I kind of, at the end, I felt that I had a little more drive than him. And, and that's why I went inside. And, uh, you know, he wasn't letting off, and I wasn't going to let off. I wasn't going to give it to him. So I made him earn it. Still got 50 points in the lead. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in a comfortable lead. It was kind of probably a stupid chance to take. But, you know, I want to win every race I can and, you know, do it for Honda. All right, thanks. Thanks, Bob. Jeremy McGrath, Dave, showing his competitive spirit, but uh, that's got to scare the Honda crew. Well, it's, it's very, very difficult to race for a championship.